Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, and today I'm sharing a new Linktree alternative that is a complete game changer for Link and Biosystems. In the past, I've brought up my favorite Linktree alternatives, and they all offer one thing in common, offering more for your money or offering more for free. In recent videos, I've evaluated options like creating a custom link list using WordPress, or my latest recommendation, using solo.to as a Linktree replacement. Solo started making me think about features outside of a basic link list that would still be helpful for a link in bio landing page. Things like an email capture form, embedding YouTube videos or SoundCloud songs directly on the page, or even gathering remarketing data with Facebook Pixel. Solo made all of this possible and more, but now Koji is bringing their unique platform to the table and has recently optimized it to be a proper link in bio system. And let me tell you, it's insanely cool. Koji has been around since 2019, and when it was originally launched, it was meant to be a simple way to create and deploy web apps dramatically faster and easier than normal. You could create individual Kojis, or links that loaded lightning fast and completed a basic task. Recently, Koji has become become more popular among influencers and social media users. You could create your own tip jar with Koji, offer video cameos for a fee, or offer locked photos or videos that people can pay to unlock. Koji even offers interactive, customizable games. Social media influencers could let fans compete in a tapping competition to see who could be the top tapper. Koji was a powerful platform with these applets that could complete basic functions. And now Koji is taking this all a step further by rebranding as a competitor to Linktree. And dang, am I impressed. At its core, you can do all the things you'd expect from a Lincoln biosystem. Import your links from Linktree, customize colors, styles, and fonts, and even have a video or GIF background. Koji's featured link system gives you a front and center way to feature content sort of like an Instagram highlight, and you can add an infinite amount of links to your profile. If we're evaluating this just like any other standard link list system, Koji is already doing well. It's 100% free to use, and it offers traditionally premium features like link thumbnails, completely customizable styling, and GIFs. Again, simply evaluating this as another link list system, it's safe to say it's the best free link list system out there. The only thing it's really missing for me is a way to divide the links into sections like you can do with Solo, but I have a feeling the Koji team will add this feature soon. Soon. The editor UI is also a little clunky, requiring you to click a reorder button to sort links, but Koji has a huge advantage over other editors. It was built with a mobile first UI. Typically, I prefer a desktop first UI. You can call me a boomer, but I love doing things old school and browsing the web on a big monitor using a mouse and keyboard. However, the entire point of a link list system is to click out to it from Instagram and other social sites, and you post to Instagram from your phone, which means you're likely also editing your link list system on your phone as you make new posts. For this reason, Koji's mobile first UI completely makes sense. It makes me wonder, why haven't other Linkless systems designed their UI this way? It's a joy to work with Koji on mobile, and I love the attention to detail with support for the iOS dark mode and light mode for both the editor and aspects of the user-facing page. So all right, Koji is a great free Linkless system, but it's much more than that. Your Linkless can deep link directly with any Koji. What does this mean? You can accept tips, charge for video cameos, collect email addresses, sell downloadable files, host giveaways, offer interactive games. This is barely scratching the surface. You can do all of this for free and it integrates directly with your link list. This is my link list I created with Koji. In the highlights section, I added a tip jar. I've accepted donations for a while through Buy Me A Coffee, but with Tip Jar, it's almost instantaneous to donate right from the link list. You can also opt in to receive email updates right from my link list, and I've even added something new. The ability to book a 30-minute one-on-one Zoom session or get a guaranteed reply to your email or DM. Koji makes it easy for me to offer a new way for you to interact with me. And I love that. You might be wondering, if all of this is free, how does Koji make any money? Well, there's three main ways they get revenue. First would be transaction fees. On the personal menu Koji, which is what I use to set up my Ask Me Anything booking page, Koji takes a 15% cut of all transactions. They also take a 15% cut of the downloadable files Koji, locked posts, cameo requests, etc. 
Second, Koji accepts donations with what they call developer tips on their official Kojis. Third, Koji has built out the infrastructure to charge for access to specific Kojis in the future. While everything appears to be free now, they could decide to put a Koji behind a paywall, requiring you to pay a one-time fee or monthly fee to access it in the future. Koji's kind of built out this marketplace where Kojis or functions that are pre-made are kind of in an app store of sorts. They all say free right now, but I can see that they have the option to charge you to use it going forward. Koji very much wants to get you in the door and access all of these great features for free and make money with you as you scale your brand via transaction fees. With that being said, there is one epic thing about Koji. You keep 100% of donations through the tip jar Koji. Yep, you heard me right, you keep 100% of it. This means that Koji is literally losing money on the tip jar feature because they're paying Stripe a percentage of every transaction just to process it. Typically on platforms like Buy Me A Coffee, you'd have a 5% platform fee, plus you'd have to cover the 2.9% Stripe fee, so you could lose as much as 8% from using conventional donation systems. This 0% fee is another reason why Koji is breaking through as the best link list system around. But it doesn't even stop there. You don't have to use Koji as your link list platform to access these features. You could make individual Kojis, such as a tip jar, and link directly to them from anywhere. Want to use Koji for your link list, but want to advertise your tip jar specifically in your YouTube description? You can totally do that. And I totally did that. Shameless self plug. I'm so impressed by what Koji has done to innovate in the space, and I see no reason not to give it a shot. I migrated my link list to Koji, and I'll be trying it out for a while. Who knows, maybe I'll keep using it long term. Koji isn't perfect, but the breakthrough innovations make it worth using. I wish you could manually crop thumbnail images you upload instead of having them automatically centered for the square crop. I also wish you could reply to people who use the tip jar and thank them for your donation. It feels very one-sided not being able to give a quick response. Finally, I wish there were link sections like Solo recently added. Hey, Editing Christian here, and I wanted to share a quick update on Koji. I actually got the opportunity to meet with the company's CEO shortly after filming this video, but just a few hours before I'm releasing it. And I wanted to say that they are extremely receptive to my feedback about some of the changes I'd like to see with Koji. And I actually have been keeping an eye on them for the past couple weeks. And I'll say I see them making a lot of changes and rapid improvements. The Koji CEO shared that they're going to be making a lot of updates to different features and improving stuff. And I have full confidence that they're going to do a lot to improve the platform over the coming weeks and months. What's even cooler is the CEO shared some things I didn't even know about the platform, such as the ability to use Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, or even a custom JavaScript snippet that will be some sort of tracker to be able to collect analytics on your page. You can also connect a custom domain name to your link list. You can do all of that under the analytics section of your Koji. And finally, he even showed me that you can create a totally custom Koji or modify any Koji and actually access the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code behind a Koji to custom every aspect of it down to the color of a button. This is such a cool company and I can tell they're really committed to the product. I'm just so excited to see what happens with it. My biggest fear with Koji is that they'll get everyone in the door with their amazing features, then they'll start putting big limitations on stuff and charging us all a monthly fee to unleash the full power of Koji. I hope that's not the case, and if it does become the case, we'd have to evaluate it against other link list options when the time comes. But for now, Koji might just be the best link in biosystem in existence. So what do you think of Koji? Are you gonna try it out with your brand? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time.